So I'm here with my top three laptop pick here for 2017. Now this is the budget laptop segment. So all these models have the same chipset in them. It's the Intel Celeron N3450, uh, the Apollo late one. And these two models here have six gigabytes of RAM. So we have the Chewy Lapbook 12.3 here with its Surface Pro screen. So you can see why it looks a little bit square because it has a three by two aspect ratio. Then we have the uh, Jumper EasyBook 3 Pro here with a 16 by nine screen, which is IPS matte coated. And then we have a glossy screen here on the Chewy Lapbook Air. This is also 16 by nine aspect ratio, 1080p IPS. And other similarities between these models here, uh, they all have wireless AC, the Intel 3165 chipset. Battery capacity on all these is about the same. So 37, 36 watt hours on all of these models here. Although I found that in my testing that the Lapbook 12.3, because of the high resolution screen it has, that Surface Pro screen, very nice screen by the way, it is the best out of all these models. And the best you will probably find in any budget laptop, the screen on here. But the battery life, of course, is impacted by that screen resolution. So you get around six to seven hours, you lose about an hour of battery life on this particular model. Now, as I mentioned, we've got six gigabytes of RAM on these two. So this one here has eight gigabytes. So if you must have eight gigabytes of RAM, this is the only model that is out so far of the Apollo Lake series and the budget notebooks I've been looking at with the eight gigabytes. It's also the only one with a backlit keyboard. Another similarities between these three models are they have the power limits in the BIOS unlocked with the latest BIOS update on the Lapbook 12.3 here. Uh, that actually opened up that option, which is really good. That allows us to boost the performance of the, mainly the integrated graphics gets the benefit from that, but it also increases temperatures. They've got copper heat sinks in it, these two. Uh, this one, I think it's just got a tin heat sink, so you might have to do my copper heat sink mod on it. Anyway, we also have SSD hatches on them. So on the bottom of this, there's a little hatch on all of these models here. So you can install your own 22 by 42 millimeter SSD, which really boosts the performance there. And of course you can increase the, your storage capacity. Now this model here, you can see because it's got the glossy screen, you're gonna get reflections. So if you're someone that's gonna be using a screen outdoors, I highly recommend to go for, of course, the anti-glare screens you get on these ones. So that narrows down your choice then to something like the, the Lapbook 12.3. Now these models here, they have the same amount of ports on them too. So we've got two USB 3 ports on all three of these models, again, similar. And the keyboards using them, I would say that the best keyboard would actually probably be this one right here, the Laptop 12.3. I find it is uh, just a little bit nicer to type on, uh, very firm too as well. Uh, the Jumper Easy Book isn't too bad either. It's not a bad keyboard considering the price of this. I'll get onto prices in just a second. And then the backlit keyboard with about 1.5 millimeters of travel, the most travel is on this Chewy Lapbook Air right here. Now touchpads. We have precision touch pads on these two models. So the EasyBook 3 Pro and the Chewy Lapbook Air, making the touch pads far superior to this one that you have on Chewy's 12.3 uh, Lapbook, sorry, version here that we've got the Lapbook 12.3. Getting myself a little bit confused here. And so that means that this touch pad really isn't the best. I mean, it's average to use, it's okay, it is usable. I find that I can get away with using it, but finer, more accurate, movements with the touchpad, uh, you would definitely notice it compared to the likes of the, the precision ones with Windows driver settings. So you can actually tweak the gestures on there, you can disable them when you plug in an external mouse, so you can have it automatically disable the touchpad and things like that. So tweaks like that are really quite good. Okay, so now when it comes to price, there is a big difference. So the most highly well specced model here with the backlit keyboard, the eight gigabytes of RAM, and 120 gigabyte SSD, sorry, EMMC that has in this one, this is retailing for approximately 360 to 370 US, which is a lot of money considering the type of chipset this has. It's not even a Core M3. I mean, there's a quad core that it's got on there, but it is just good for light tasks, the Celeron M3450s. They're not for video editing. They're not really for gaming, but they can play older or lighter titles like League of Legends or Dota 2 even doesn't run too well, but Counter-Strike, you lower the resolution and put on the lower settings, then you can get playable frame rates, especially when you turn off the uh, power limits on there. So it opens up the performance. Now then it comes to my actual pick, what I would go for is this one here, of course, the Jumper EasyBook 3 Pro. Now this is retailing currently for around 219 to 229 US, meaning it's the cheapest. 
And then the amazing screen that we have in the Lapbook 12.3, this one selling for about 260 US, so and 70 US. So is it worth paying that extra to get that screen? But then of course you've got the worst touchpad, the battery life is slightly less. But overall, yeah, with these three models, you can't really go too wrong with them, I think, because out of my testing, they really have been the best. And as I said in the beginning, that's why I've hung on to these three here. So hopefully this video just gives you an idea of what to expect out of these and which one is best for your needs. So quickly recap here, if you need eight gigabytes of RAM and a backlit keyboard, then it is of course the Lapbook Air, but it's the most expensive. And if you must have the best screen, that stunning Surface Book 4, the Surface Pro 4, sorry, and the Surface Pro screen, then that is in this model right here, the Lapbook 12.3. And then the all-rounded model and the cheapest model, of course, is the EasyBook 3 Pro here. I have many videos on this particular model, so check that out in the channel. And also check out my full reviews of these two here. Thanks so much for watching this very quick, short comparison of my top three Apollo Lake laptops from China.